is Sam and I'm going to be talking to you today a little bit about animals that make their homes in the woods. Now oftentimes when we go on a hike in the woods searching for animals we don't actually see any. They tend to get scared off and hide. So today we're going to look for some signs that they leave behind to try to figure out who lives here. When trees fall down or need to be cut down in our parks, oftentimes the old trees will be left on the ground. This actually helps create habitat for different animals and insects. A lot of animals that live in woodlands will find shelter in holes in trees. Take a look at the hole in the base of this tree. Sometimes trees split naturally and holes are created and sometimes animals like woodpeckers will actually create holes and different animals will spend time in them. Birds, squirrels, even raccoons and opossums can benefit from the holes in trees. Spring is a great time of year to look for bird nests in the trees. Even in your yard, take a look in any trees that you have and see if you can find any nests that were either from last year or new nests that the birds are forming now. Some animals that live in the woods actually dig out holes and spend time underground. Next time you're on a hike, take a look just off the path and see if you can find any small or large holes that might have actually been dug out by different animals. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's a path right in front of you leading through the woods carved out by animals. Animals will travel on the same path as they're looking for food and water oftentimes because it's easier than traveling through dense woods or thick woods off course. This way they carve out a path and can easily walk through it as they try to find food and water. Here's an example of a trail that was left behind by an animal. It walked through the woods on this path that it carved out over and over again, matting down parts of the grasses so that it could pass through easily. Thanks for spending some time in the woods with me today. Make sure next time you're on a hike, you look for some of these same signs that I pointed out to you today.